All right. So thanks for watching my last video where we designed a Jack and Lantern decal ornament for our door. And now we're going to load that into our slicer and get it ready to be printed. So to do that last time with the toothpick holder, I showed you, you can just click on file and open it that way. But this time I'll show you the other way. So if you have your file here, this is the STL, you can click and just drag it right into your slicer. And when you do that, it kind of loads it in a way which is impossible to print or less desirable to print. Maybe it's not impossible, but it definitely you wouldn't want to print that way. So what you can do is you can rotate it 90 degrees. And now it should be right. However, if you have something where you make a mistake by rotating it the wrong way, you might have trouble finding the way back. So you can just press lay flat. But if you do that, it will orient the placement of this incorrectly. So you can just press Control Z a couple times and it'll get you back. And Control Y to go backwards. To go forwards, I mean. So just go to 90 degrees, put it flat, and there you have it. So. Down here it says it's going to take 3 hours and 24 minutes at 63 grams. Uh, the reason why it's at this right now is because we have it at 0.3 layer height, which for that we get 10 layers and we don't really need a super fine detail on the layer height because when it's on our door this is the way it's going to look. So what we want is to maximize how well this face will look. So. You want to print it quickly and with the least amount of material always. So 0.3 layer height will do fine. Our shells at three for a lot while line count. This will give it some strength on the outside there, so it won't bust the first time it drops or falls. Um, and then these top and bottom layers, putting them at three when you have a little bit of infill will really help keep it at a flatter surface. Um, what that means that at the layer here, when it starts to fill in on top of this uh, infill, is that it will fill over and over three times. And the reason why that would give you a better surface finish is because whenever the filament is going over this space here, it will want to droop into these holes here. And that'll cause a dimpling finish or it'll be spotty. So instead, if you just do three, it'll take more material and more time, but it will give a better finish. Um, the infill is set at 25% at a grid. But if you did 30, this is what it would look like. It would take uh, three more minutes and two more grams of filament. We might go for that. Um, and it's a little less um, empty, but I mean, there's not really that much a difference that you can just visually tell. Um, if we tried triangles instead of lines, you would get uh, same amount of time, same amount of filament, but you'd get this design and I'm not really sure which one's better. Uh, it's kind of up to the person printing it. You could also try octets which look like this. This sort of seems better to me. Um, however, I don't really see too much of a difference. Ah, all right. So you see how this works. The infill is sort of offset. So really, it's not that much difference than grid. So since we're not really going for structural integrity, we're just trying to print the cheapest and fastest. We'll just go with grid for now. Um, for my bed adhesion, I'm just using a skirt. Uh, in the last video, I explained why I like skirts over the other options that we have. Um, I don't really use brims or rafts. Skirts are great for me. I don't have any problems with uh, warping or anything like that. My adhesion's great. 
uh, I use a glass bed on my CR10 and I print a little bit hotter than um, what most people do. Um, I, I use Maker Geek Filament and their POA wants to be at either 230 or 245 and I print at 240 for their Maker POA and I print a little bit closer to the bed than most people. Uh, and I find that that gives a great adhesion and I don't have any other issues printing. So that works for me. Um, your results may vary, but just try to find the best results that you can. So um, what we need to do now is save this once we're happy with it, which I am happy with this. You just save the file and I'm going to name this Jack Decal. And it's saved and ready to be printed. Thank you for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for more. If you like what you see, subscribe. And soon we're gonna be doing uh, a project with one of my friends. Uh, we are gonna make some uh, planes uh, that are powered by rubber bands. You just take a rubber band on a stick and you shoot them and they'll, they'll glide through the air. Uh, we're gonna try to make that in Fusion and then 3D print them. Might work, might not. It should just be a fun, a fun day. All right, well, thank you for watching and have a good day.